Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to talk about the battle forces that will be available this Christmas. So 100 quid basically gets you a small army in a box. They're cool, they're a good idea, I like them. I was kind of looking forward to seeing what Games Workshop did this year because we've had some interesting releases. They've done a pretty good job of, I think, pushing some some uh, some relatively under 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 promoted factions um, in the form of boxes like the Admech and Necrons and Gene Steeler Cults as well. We've had some cool stuff this year so far. Well, this edition so far, and I was really hoping to see something funky for the battle forces. So I am more than a little disappointed with what we've actually got. I mean, we've got Admech, which is cool. We've got Necrons, also cool. Craftworlds, cool. We've also got Space Marines, which was to be expected, and it's a Primaris force, of course. And we also have Imperial Fists, which are also Space Marines, as I'm sure you know, and is also a Primaris Battle Force. So two out of the five Battle Forces are Primaris armies. Now that, to me, is somewhere between disappointing and boring as hell. And it's not just because Dawn is boring and his Banana Boys are also boring. Um, fight me, I don't care. Um, so... I get why they've done it. This is the thing. Primaris do sell. No matter what the internet as a whole might like to shout about how much they hate them and how rubbish they are, they sell well. And so having two boxes of them annoyingly does make sense because the chances are they will sell pretty well. And if the rumours are to be believed, the Imperial Fist box comes with upgrade kits for Imperial Fists. So you'll actually have the proper moulded shoulder pads with the fist on it. Great, fantastic if you're an Imperial Fist player. But if you are, like me, hoping to see something a little bit more interesting, not just Games Workshop pushing the hell out of Space Marines as they always do, it is kind of underwhelming. I mean, to put it mildly, uh, that along with the 8th, ninth, what, 8th, ninth Primaris Lieutenant to be released uh, being shown off a couple of weeks ago, I kind of feel like maybe, maybe it would be nice if we had something that wasn't that wasn't Primaris. I mean, when you look at things like the Adeptus Custodes, the models that they got in this edition, when we look at Death Guard, the stuff that Death Guard have got, where where is that stuff for a battle force? Where is, like, Gene Steeler Cults? Where is the Where are the Orcs? I mean, the Orcs just had their codex. They had a bunch of new vehicles. It could have been a really good opportunity to shift a kind of, well, a, a fun Orc force, but no. No, instead we got two boxes of Primaris. And... It goes even deeper than that for me in terms of disappointment because the Space Marines one has got 25 models in it, including a Repulsor. The Imperial Fist one has got 20 models in it, including a Redemptor. To be honest, it's difficult to make out the detail. It's difficult to know exactly what you get in the boxes because, as with all leaks, it's blurry as a tiny photo and it's just badly taken. And so actually making out specifics of what the units are is a little tricky, but I really feel like on just like a gut instinct level that the Imperial Fist one is not quite as good value as the Space Marines one. Now, of course, the explanation for that would be that if it's true, they are getting an upgrade kit, they are getting shoulder pads and so on, well, the reason it's not as good value is because those bits are taken into account. Those bits are kind of driving down the overall value of the box because you have to have the upgrade stuff in them. When you look at the cost of, like, the, um, of like the Death Watch Primaris Marines and so on, it they are more expensive because you get that extra sprue in them. Which means that if that is the case, and if my, my rough estimate as to how much each of those boxes would you know, cost if you bought the unit separately, if my gut instinct is correct, not only do we have two boxes of Primaris instead of like one box of Primaris and something else, a different faction entirely, um, one of them is ostensibly worse value than the other, which is just kind of garbage like that doesn't really make any sense to me but i know that's not fair it does make sense to me because i know people will buy it that's what it boils down to it's what people will buy and people will buy that but that doesn't stop it from being a little bit frustrating that doesn't stop it from being just kind of dull if i'm totally honest with you now i get that a lot of people will be excited about that i get that those of you who collect imperial fish like, okay this is cool we actually get the upgrades through provided you do i mean that's just a rumor that might not even be true but once we get a clearer picture of this thing, then obviously we'll know whether or not you get that in the box or not. There's just... There are so many factions in Warhammer 40,000. And there is, like... There are there are few times where you get this kind of box coming out. Like, Christmas is when these boxes tend to show up. I know there's other things that happen during the year, but it's... It, it's 
it's not something that no one cares about. You know, I've seen plenty of people talking about it, the build up to it. Like, oh, I wonder what we're going to get this year. I wonder what we're going to find out this year. What are the armies going to be for this particular this particular setup? What are we going to have? And then it's two boxes of primaries. I mean, it's not even it's not even one of the like individual codex chapters. I would have been a bit more like understanding of it, a bit more tolerant of it, if it was Space Wolves, Dark Angels, Blood Angels, Death Watch. I mean, any of those, and I would have been like, okay, all right. I mean, it's 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 a bit it's a bit to Imperium um, in terms of like the ratio, but but I can I can get behind that because at least it's something a little bit different. But it's it's not that. <laughs> it's not it's not even that. It's just two boxes of Space Marines. Because the thing is, even if the Imperial Fist one does come with the shoulder pads and whatever, it's still just Space Marines. It's not even a different flavour of Space Marines. Yeah, Imperial Fist tactics might be different to other Space Marine tactics, but it's still just the same codex it's the same units they don't have anything they don't have anything special in terms of what they can take outside of what everyone else can already take so it's just a bit it's just a bit gash to be honest i understand why they're doing it but that doesn't make it any less uninteresting i understand that a lot of it is that thing of that self-fulfilling cycle of you know pushing them because they do well and they do well because they push them and so on and so forth that doesn't make it any less uninteresting. That doesn't make me sit there and go, well, I know it's dull, but the fact that I know it'll work makes it less dull. N- no, it's still just dull to me. Um, there's just so much potential. There's so many other armies. There's so many other units. There are so many things you could put together that would create an interesting and unique force. And instead, we just get two boxes of Primaris. And it's like, the deal is pretty good. Obviously, they always are with these battle forces. They always tend to be very good value for money in comparison to buying the stuff separately. Um, but if you bought Bite with you'd have a pretty good Primaris army. But I just don't. I don't feel like buying two separate battle forces is should be a viable way of collecting an army because there should be enough variation out of these damn things that buying that you wouldn't be able to buy two of the same army. You know, it just it just. It doesn't feel tone deaf because I'm assuming Games Workshop have access to a lot more data and information than I do. But in terms of what the community generally dislikes, pushing Primaris is something the community generally dislikes. Obviously, it sells, but it's like I don't know. I don't. I just I'm just kind of bored of it now. I like. I was kind of bored of Primaris when the fourth special edition left handing came out, and now we're on however many more we've got now. Um, and I'm saying this as someone who has like I've got a full Space Marine army back there. I've got a Strike Force Ultra. I've got the I've only painted the Space Marine side of Dark Imperium because I just couldn't be arsed with the Nurgle side. It's not even like I don't like Space Marines because I do. Space Marines have been my army for quite a while, but at the same time, I'm just looking at it and just going, lads. Lad, if you go to the Games Workshop site and you go to the Warhammer 40k section and you look on the left, there's a list of a shitload of different factions. There's a shitload of different armies. Even if you only do Imperium, you've got Death Watch, you've got Grey Knights, you've got Imperial Guard, you've got Custodes. There's all these things you could do, lads. And you ain't done them, have you? Instead, you've you've made two boxes of Primaris. And that is not interesting. That is not that that does nothing to um, alter the perception that you're just going to push Space Marines endlessly and never bother with anything else. That doesn't change that perception. It reinforces it nicely because that's what it feels like you're doing. But, I don't know, could we not have a bit of something else here and there, maybe? I mean, Admech is fine, Necron's fine, Craftwell, fine, great. But, come on, like, there's Dark Eldar and there's Tyranids and Gene Steeler Cults and and Imperial Guard and any number of other things you could have done but you didn't I mean Blackstone Fortress is like round the corner to be honest the Chaos Box wouldn't be a bad idea because there's Traitor Guard in Blackstone Fortress and that's another video we're going to make by the way because the, 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 tra- the Chaos side of that box looks immense there's like new Chaos Space Marines you could have, could have chucked something out that would be a little bit of a teaser for that nope, no no, two boxes of uh, of Primaris Marines, because that's exactly what the community as a whole really wanted to see. Just 
more more Primaris all the time because it never gets dull seeing the same thing over and over again, does it? Uh, except it kind of does, doesn't it? It's just not interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when I'm looking at the battle forces and I just see two of the same thing, it just makes me think, yeah. You're not actually trying to push anything other than that, are you? You're just sort of going for the thing that is the safe bet, which is a shame because, to be honest, 8 doesn't feel like it's been a safe bet addition so far. With some of the stuff we've seen for Custodes, the way they've expanded the night range, the way they have they did the stuff with the orcs, the mad decisions that they've made with Age of Sigmar, like the Doors of... I mean, the, the Doors of Cain and the Ardeneth Deepkin and the bloody Sky Dwarves and all that stuff... AOS feels like it's just like they're going, okay, what would be what would be what would be fucking cool? Let's do that. And I was really starting to feel like it was starting to bleed over into 40k with the ridiculous vehicles that the orcs have got now. And then we get to the battle forces, and it's just more fucking space marines. <laughs> Says the guy with an army of space marines. That's that's the level we're at now. Just disappointing. The other ones look okay, the other boxes look alright. They look pretty good. There's a good variety of units in there. Obviously, the value of them is going to be pretty decent, but it it's marred. It's just marred by by more fucking Primaris again. I mean, you don't even get a, a, a new special edition lieutenant in the boxes. You could at least make a new one for that. You made a new one for everything else: Christmas, Halloween, Tuesday. They've all got like new lieutenants to go with them, so. Why not one for the box? A bit lazy. Anyway, that was more ranty and less helpful than I intended it to be, but whatever. <laughs> stop putting primaries and things and I'll stop complaining about it. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to let me know what you think of the boxes down below. Are you really happy about having two primaries boxes or are you like me and just don't want to see them? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, click Patreon, subscribe, all that shit. Click it if you like. Don't click if you don't want to. And I will see you for the next one. Toodaloo.